What's up guys, my name is Zoe Goebbels and for those who don't know me, I'm currently playing college tennis in America and I've been playing tennis since I was five years old and I kind of have a background history with having sensitive skin so I easily get blisters and I always have this part that's my most sensitive one so I use this type of tape and it's just from a, a store here back in the Netherlands and yeah, it's a perfect size because if I put it on my finger, it normally holds really well. But the last weeks, I don't know what's happening, if I'm sweating more or anything, but it just gets away from my finger, it just slips off. And then I've been keep on playing tennis and then it's hurting me again. And I cannot every five minutes say like, hey, can I have a break? I need to do another one because then everybody gets annoyed. So I thought, why not try a tennis glove? So I know there's one out there, which is a bionic and it's a tennis glove. It has its origin in the UK and there aren't a lot of tennis gloves. So it was e easy to find this one. So they say it has an easier movement, a better fit, more control and more support than other gloves. So I was like, why not try this? So I have some clips playing tennis and then you can see for yourself that it's actually pretty good. I realized I didn't even show it to you. So this is the tennis glove after a couple times of use. And um, yeah, you're probably wondering like what my thoughts are. So it serves the main purpose because I really didn't have uh, any pain or blisters, which is pretty good. It serves the main purpose. But one thing is this strap, I didn't close it because if I close it, I don't have that much freedom with my wrist movement, which is still pretty like important for me. So I was playing with the strap loose and then it's pretty good. Just be careful not touching this part with your clothes because, because then your clothes can get damaged and we don't want that. Um, but another thing is if you're using it for a long time, your hand can get a little exhausted and you, and I might think, that it can come from a too tight, uh, too small of a size, but then it's actually not because you need a small size uh, and a good fit for a tennis glove like this. It's the same with having a golf glove, but um, because it's so tight, you can feel the stitching a little bit, but if you're just using it a couple times per week, not too much or not too many hours, then I think it should be totally fine. Thank you guys for watching. And for those with the same problems as me, I hope this video helps you decide whether or not to try or order this product. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Just wanna make it clear. And for all the tennis fans out there, make sure to check out all my other videos. And uh, I hope to see you soon.